Hello Cuckoo Hall, hello Woodpecker children. I hope you are well. Um, as you can see, I'm out in the Cuckoo Hall playground and if you have a look round, you can see that we've still got a little bit of snow on the ground here. Um, Bella and Teddy are happily running around and enjoying the snow. Um, I hope you got a bit of time yesterday to go out and have a little play around, uh, dance in the snow, have a snowball fight. I know I certainly did. It was very cold, but very enjoyable. Um, so this is just a very quick video to talk a little bit about home learning and how to keep yourself well and happy whilst we're still in lockdown. So today uh, I've got Miss Ross's five top tips for home learning and keeping healthy. So here we go. Top tip number one, it says workspace. It's really important that you try and find a little space in your house where you can work from. It's like you're almost like your school desk. You can have your laptop or your work pack, all the resources that you're going to need for the day and have them all there and then you can pack them away at the end of the day and get them back out uh, uh, the following morning. Now I know that can be difficult because sometimes you might have your brothers and sisters who are trying to do the same thing. If that is the case, try and be at opposite ends of the room or if you can, try and be in a completely different room to your brothers and sisters. Okay, so top tip, try and have your own little work your workstation uh, that you can work from at home. Top tip number two, here we go. Top tip number two is routine. Now I know some of you are going to bed super late and not getting up nice and early for school. Now school's still happening, but it's just happening online, okay? So it's really important that you go to bed at a good hour so that you can get up eight o'clock, maybe a little bit before, get washed, brush your teeth, have your breakfast, and you need to be sat down at your workstation ready to learn. Okay, that's really, really important. I've spoken to lots of mum, mummies and daddies who said, I can't get them out of bed. Okay, you definitely don't want me coming around and knocking on your door to wake you up. Okay, so a nice routine. Also, when we talk about routine, we're also talking about the fact that you need to have breaks. If you're sitting at your, at your little workstation or your little space all day, it's not good for you. You need to get up, you need to move about, you need to have a break. You need to have a break, you need to have a lunch time, and you also need to have little mini breaks in between where you can go away, not think about your, your schoolwork, uh, and go and do something else. So routine, super important. Top tip number three, there we go. Talk. It is so important that you talk to people whilst we're in this lockdown. You can talk to your teachers about your learning. Is it too hard? Is it too easy? Are you finding something really difficult? There's lots of ways you can talk to your teacher. You can talk to them on the Zoom. Your teacher might also telephone you and you can also talk to them through DB Primary. Teddy's been running around with something at the moment. So talking to your teacher is really important talking to your parents, the people that you live with, telling them how you feel. Today's a really good day, I've had a good day on Zoom. Do you know what, I've really struggled today, I found it really hard. Or you might be wanting to talk to your mum and dad about, I'm really missing my friends, I'm missing going out, I'm missing hanging out with my friends in real. Okay, talk to the people around you, talk to your friends. Now I know at the moment we can't meet up with our friends uh, because we're not allowed to, but there's other ways you can do it. You could Zoom your friends, you could video chat with your friends, talk to your parents about setting that up and make sure you have lots of communication with your friends as well as talking to everybody else. Talking, really, really important. Top tip number four. Here we go. Active. It is so important that you try and keep active at this point in time. We're allowed out once a day for some exercise. Make sure you go out, have a run around. I'm very lucky I get to have the dog, Teddy Bella. We're having a little lie down in the snow at the moment, but I get to go out and walk my dogs once a day. And it really helps me clear my head of all the things I've been thinking about and focus on something different. So that's how I get my exercise. You also got to think Mr. May has been posting some fantastic activities for you to do. You can do them in your house, you could do them when you're outside. Find something that you enjoy doing to keep yourself active. 
I'm thinking about buying a skipping rope because that doesn't take much space and I could do that in my house as well. So keeping active, physically active, keeps your brain and your mental health active too. And my final top tip for you today, if I can whoa, find it, oh, Teddy was about to have that. My final top tip is about enjoying, enjoyment. You need to find something that you enjoy doing and make sure you make time to enjoy that. Now, as I said, you'll probably enjoy meeting up with your friends and doing things like that. And at the moment we can't, but actually find something else that you enjoy doing in the house. I've discovered I enjoy doing jigsaws. So I've been getting my jigsaws out and I've been doing my jigsaws, which has been great. I also enjoy painting. I've been decorating some of my house. Um, and most of all, I enjoy my dog. Miss Vincent, can you get the dogs in? I think they're Bella, Teddy. I think Teddy's eating um, some of your um, PE equipment, which I will go and rescue in a minute. But I enjoy walking my dogs and I enjoy being with my dogs. So find something you enjoy doing. It could be playing your PlayStation. It could be Zooming your friends. It could be playing games with your brothers or sisters in the house. Find something you enjoy and do that every day because that is also going to make sure that you are healthy and happy during our lockdown. I've been speaking to your teachers and your teachers are saying that you're doing a brilliant job with your online learning or your remote paper pack, so keep up that up. Um, we're still not back in school, as you can see, the playgrounds are empty. Um, we're still running our hub for some children and obviously uh, myself and uh, the senior Miss Vincent and the senior team are still here in school. We can't wait to welcome you back to school when it's safe to do so. Um, we want you to think about these top five tips and try and carry them out every day to make sure you're having a healthy and happy time whilst doing your home learning at home. We miss you all and we love you. Take care. Bye.